It's called Arietta of Spirits. Nice and pixely. Let's try a new game. Intro. How long still? Almost there. Half an hour or so. We can drive straight to the shore and take the boat from there. It's not like this is your first time here. Right. Damn. Can't believe it's been a year already. Yeah. Feels weird for me too. It's gonna be the first time there without her. Her who? I'm sure the cabin needs a bit fixing up. Wouldn't want grandma's place to deteriorate. I guess so. Cheer up, mom. Now look who's talking. Weren't you just moping around a minute ago? Who remembers it? Pellier, welcome back. Hey, do you think the water's cold? I think it should be fine. Pallet, I failed a demo, how sad. You know what? I'm sure everything will be just like before. I'm getting lots of Discord notifications. What is going on in there? What? Cammy always streaming at weird times. <laughs> Nalik's over here trying to lead a re revolution in my own t Discord. <laughs> oh, look how cute she is. The like simpleness is like really simple. <laughs> Long trip, huh? Yeah, I'm beat. We've got some work ahead of us. Too bad it's my summer vacation, so I better just take it easy, right? Very funny. Your mother was looking for you. She said she needed some help with something. She should be in the cabin. Oh, I'd better go and ask what's up. I think I'm gonna start with some yard work. The garden looks like a jungle. Oh, look how cute it is. Grandma would hate seeing it like this. And it seems like there's no going to the forest side spring at the moment. A tree has fallen on the pathway. I think I'm going to start by clearing it out. Gee whiz, it'll probably take me all day. That forest life seemed hard, y'all. Hang in there, Dad. All right, this is me. Oh, she got a good little... She got a quick roll. Oh, she has stamina too. Maybe? I don't know. It felt like she was rolling quicker before I started, like... Yeah, she does slow down. Look at that. Interesting. Once you see that sweat, she actually starts slowing down. She's got a good roll up until that point. Maybe I shouldn't wander too far off from the cabin. <laughs> hi mom oh hi honey you need me you need my help with something yeah i do i just started cooking us dinner and i was thinking i'd make us some apple crumble as a dessert but we didn't bring any apples with us could you be a sweetie and go pick up some the trees are quite far but if you follow the trail through west of the cab i know i know I love the sour apples from the big tree. Yeah, your grandma liked those too. Hey, I'll go and get them right away. Man, you guys are taking grandma's death really, really hard. That's, that's sad. What a cute little cabin. Um, hmm. This is your room. Hopefully the stream, the steam summer sale starts tom tomorrow. You think so? Maybe. I'd be down for some summer sales. 
getting that thing sharp. Because tomorrow is summer solstice. Oh. All right, yeah, to wait up. Where are you headed? Damn, Dad. On my case. Mom asked me to get some apples for us. She's going to make apple crumble. Nice. I love that stuff. Oh, if you are heading there, you might want to keep your eye out for wasps. They are especially nasty this time of the year, and the island's full of them. You should take this with you. It's dangerous to go alone. You've received a wooden sword. Dad, I'll be 13 soon. 13 soon? Oh, this girl's so young. I thought she was like 15 with all that attitude. Maybe, but I don't want you to get stung. It may not be sharp, but it's solid wood, so it should pack a punch. Right. Thanks, Dad. I am not trying to go nowhere where there's giant wasps that can sting me. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I remember when you used to run around as a kid, always swinging that sword around. It drove your mother crazy. Good times, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'll be right back with the apples. Ooh. She, looks, she knows how to use this thing, don't she? She's got a forceful yell. Doing a number on those bushes. Oh my god, look how big they are. They're like Pokemon size. Oh. They evaporate. Look how big they are. Um, how big do the uh, creatures I gotta fight get in this game? Because if the wasp are already this big, I can only wonder. Also, damn, she wasn't kidding about how far these apple tree was. She doesn't have a combo, though. That's kind of weird. I'm accustomed to a combo lifestyle. I went to Louisiana once. And we saw some wasps. And them motherfuckers was red. Like, deep red. Scared the bejesus out of me. They were huge and red and very scary looking. I do not recommend. I'm like the whole South needs to be like <laughs> eradicated for some craziness like that. That is wild. Bro, how far are the apples? Also are like bees, but evil. Exactly. Bees are cute and helpful. Unfortunately, they sting, but you know, honey and pollination. Wasps don't do nothing to help nobody. They're just rude and mean. I'm eradicating them though. Where the hell? Is there a map? No, I see. Where are these apples? So, Pally, were you watching a Ghibli movie or something that made you want to bring it up? I've actually, I don't know. I don't know when, I can't remember what the first Ghibli, well, the first Ghibli movie I saw, because, you know, Studio Ghibli is amazing and everybody should watch the movies. The first one I saw was definitely Totoro. I saw Totoro as a kid and loved it. I wall, I've always wanted a giant stuffed Totoro. Like, just like a whole portion of my room dedicated to a, to to a Totoro, because they're so cute. And the leaks in my Discord trying to start up a revolution because he doesn't like my random streams. Oh, we made it to the apple tree? Matt found them. I want to know what mosquitoes are good for. Spider food. Yeah, that's probably true, actually. The big tree in the middle is always given the best apples, but how am I going to reach them when they're up so high? We didn't think about this before we left. <coughs> you don't climb trees, kid. Maybe with enough force, I can make some of them fall. Sure, let's charge the tree. Yeah, yeah. that did it. How many are we going for here? 
Just those? I guess that's all the apples we need around here. I want giant Totoro, right? What in the Stardew Valley is this? <laughs> Stardew Valley with a wooden sword? Oh, crap. Oh, shit. Why is this one poisonous and evil? Uh, sorry. I didn't know you guys had a hive in there. Bruh. Oh. Oh, get out of here. Come back, lady. Oh! Bring that ass back. Oof. Come on back here, lady. How much health do you have, exactly? <laughs> Bruh, I swiped. Well, this one definitely has more action than the last demo. Wasp Queen. We just, wow, Cammy. Okay, at least we killed it. At least we didn't lose. <laughs> you were asking about the big ones. <laughs> Six granny apples, I guess it was worth it. Whew, that was close. Yeah, it was. Can you imagine if we died on the beginning of our summer vacation? Whack. Oh, this one's a demo too? It is a demo. What game is this? Arietta? It is a demo and I'm hurt. How do I heal? Oh, did they teleport me back? Oh, that's convenient. She also has stamina. Not a fan. Dad's going to work. Good luck, bro. That's some Stardew Valley right there. So yeah, it's play smooth. Pixels are pretty simple. Got the apples. Thanks, hun. <clears throat> Oh, you've got plenty. This will only take a minute. Go and tell your dad the dinner's ready. Yes, ma'am. Oh man, she got good manners. Where, what, what city y'all from? Talking about some ma'am. Well, obviously not a city if you guys are out here in the woods, like you know what you're doing. Give me just a second. Oh! He went to his next mo. Ooh, look at <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> oh, this man is tired. Whew, damn, that took a long time. Hey, you're back. Those wasps give you a hard time? A little bit. <laughs> Nothing I couldn't handle. Mm-hmm. We almost died. Dinner's almost done. Yeah, let's go and set the table. Oof. So I've never been camping. So the whole idea of camping terrifies me personally. I'd at least need to go to firearms training. Like, <sighs> everything okay, dear? That was a very attention sigh. What? Camping is so fun, is it? Ah. I've never, I've never been like this kind of camping, like actually in a log cabin by ourselves around nobody. Like, I don't know nothing about that. I've gone to like summer camps in like the park and it's like 20 minutes away from the city. Like I, uh, -uh. <laughs> or I've been camping because our entire class went camping together. That's the closest I've ever done to camping. So I don't know what real camping is like. Like, I've never been fishing. I've been to this island every summer of my, every summer of your life. Yeah, this is the first time here without her. That empty chair is almost more than I can bear. I feel like I need to give y'all a Southern accent with this. This all just brings back so many memories. 
I swear I can still feel her here. <laughs> Yet when I turn around to see her, she's not there. Oof, sad game. Death is hard. Not anymore. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> I miss her so much. We all miss her. It's expected that this visit brings up some emotions, but I'm sure your mother is smiling down on us and is really glad that we have kept on this tradition. I guess so. <laughs> Thank you. It'll get better. Yeah, death is hard. Like, really hard. It's been a long day with the traveling and all. Maybe we should get some sleep. Everything will look different tomorrow. Yee. Thinktail, what do you do when you go camping? Cam, you sound like crying for real. Thank you. I'm working on my voice acting. <laughs> Sorry, that's not funny, but. Thank you. Cammy should be a voice actor. Fine. <laughs> I'm down. You got a job, Hallie? Hmm, Nalik. Can someone tell Nalik to stop chatting in Discord and chat and chat? Arietta? Whoa. What's with question marks? Who's talking to us? Is this a ghost? Grandma? Arietta. Who is this? Back up off me. I don't know you. Man, what is with all these games that keep playing? Whoa, there's ghosts? You don't want none. Back up off me. Yeah, back it up. That's what I thought. Mm-hmm. Nothing to see here, people. Okay, this is a lot of ghosts. Like, a lot. Like, way too many. I don't know what that sound is, but it doesn't sound friendly. Hmm. I'm stuck. Oh shit, we do gotta fight him. Bruh, I didn't think I'd have to fight the ghosts. Well, we died. That sucks. Please. Oh! Oh shit, did we just get possessed? the fuck? Arietta. Bruh, what just happened? Wake up. Finally. Who's talking? Here. Here where? Huh? <laughs> A good ghost. Shh, not so loud. We don't want to wake your parents. I can assure you, I am not a ghost. Although I understand my looks may hint otherwise. I must be dreaming still. I'm afraid you're wide awake. Unfortunately, the situation has dictated that I reveal myself ahead of time. Huh? W what do you mean? Arietta. I have known you for a long time. Although you haven't seen me before, I have been hiding in the shadows through most of your life. I have waited many years for this moment. Listen carefully. I have something important to tell you. My name is Arco. I come from a realm that exists in parallel to the world that you know. It is called the spirit realm. Up until now, it has been completely invisible to you as it is to any other. For eons, my kind have served the humans as guides, working together, helping those who have perished and gotten lost. 
becoming spirits, trapped, echoes of existence, unable to find their way forward. I have given you the ability to perceive the spirit realm around you by binding my energy with yours. You are now what my kind calls a bound, a human that is bound to their spirit guide, which I am to you. This is crazy. Realms and spirits? So you you do mean like ghosts? If you want to put it that way. The spirit realm is like a veil resting on the top of the human world. When a human dies but cannot move on to the afterlife, they get caught in that veil. Their energy gets trapped and thus become a spirit. There is always a reason to why one ends up this way and an unresolved matter from when they were alive or the inability to realize one's unfortunate fate. Our job is to help these spirits to move on. Get over it. Sorry. No ad libbing. <laughs> Okay, let's say I believe you, but why do you need me? Why not just help these spirits or whatever by yourself? My kind only ever exists as ethereal beings formed out of pure energy. We do not possess a physical body, not even in the spirit realm. Therefore, it's impossible for us to make any true difference to the surroundings. You, however, as a bound, now have the means to interact between both realms, the human world and the spirit realm. Our job is to seek out and guide people like you, who we deem fit for the task. And you have displayed a great deal of courage and righteousness, traits that we value throughout your life, especially so for someone as young as yourself. This girl's 13. She displayed all that. Yet it is very uncommon that we grant this ability to anyone until they've come of this age, come of age, but something has come up. Arietta, there is someone who's in the dire need of your help. Finally, acting like he don't know what chat is. She is waiting for you on the pier. The okay, that was her attacking, not me. I just want to throw it out there. I didn't try to kill the cute little spirit ferret. That was her. So when you say the pier, I'm guessing that's going to be this way. I'm going to get straight off and say it's mom. Yeah, it's probably grandma, grandma out here. I shouldn't wander off into the forest when it's dark. I th is the Okay, I'm sorry. Is there another pier? Ah, this. Oh, hello. Gr grandma? Arietta, darling. Grandma. But how? You you there was uh, you you're dead i'm quite aware of it dear now don't be too sad for me it was just my time to go death is an inevitable part of life and i've already made my peace with it many years back living as old as i have and you start to reflect on things grandma it's because of your new friends that we got to meet once again. That, um, strange looking thing. It's Arco. Arco. A-R-C-O. And who are you calling strange looking? Grandma, why are you here? Shouldn't you be... I haven't been able to move on just yet. I'll have you know. You see, I have a promise to keep for your mother. Over a decade ago, I promised to leave her our old family ring, just like my mother once gave it to me. Your silver ring? That's right. The silver is from the very same mine that's located in this island. It has been in the family for ages. During my last days here, it was lost and I didn't have the chance to come back for it until now. I searched high and low and finally managed to find it, just lying on the ground at the forest, forest side spring. No idea how it got all the way up there. 
Yet, as soon as I reached my hand out and attempt to pick it up, these terrible beings came out of nowhere and surrounded me. I was so frightened that I ran back here and left the ring where I found it. And it was then I met Arco. Those awful monsters must have been after the ring, too. Hmm, I have an idea of what those so-called monsters actually were. It's uncommon that they would re react like that to a ring, though, or any object for that matter. I'm telling you, they came straight for it. But thank heavens for that, since I managed to slip past while they were distracted. Maybe we should go and see if it's still there. If what you think is true, I'm interested in seeing this ring from myself. So, for a whole year you've been here? A year? What are you talking about? I've only been here for a little while. I, I think. Yikes. Grandma. Don't even know how long she's been dead. Don't worry, Grandma. We'll get that ring back. I don't want to get you in any trouble over me. Don't worry. I have Arco here to protect me. We'll be back before you know it. Arco, let's go. Yeah. Sorry, that was, yeah. Give him his ethereal voice back. Please, just be careful. Okay, so this is the premise of the game, huh? We Grandma's dying with, well, Grandma's last thing to do is to get the ring back to her daughter. Let's see, how are you live? Discord doesn't even say you're live. Oh, Discord's a liar. Discord said you were on mobile, not streaming. <gasps> oh, why is Discord playing games? I wish there was, hmm, maybe I need to find another way that like lets people, oh! Bro, we're gonna need an upgraded thing if we're gonna be fighting bats. Ooh, Cammy. Don't, don't get hit by the bat. Kill the bat, there's a big difference. I don't seem to get anything for killing them, I'm noticing. Like, is there some EXP I'm getting that I don't know about? Do I level up? Or are they just in the way? Grandma. I know. Grandma's just trying to move on into the afterlife, but she got things to do. She had an agenda. She had tasks to finish. Though, honestly. Ah, Cammy. Okay, um, it low-key feel like we might've learned too much. I feel like I'm playing the whole game now. Ooh, look, health. Hell yeah. Ah. I hit the tree. You get the satisfaction of not dying. Well, let's try to get that satisfaction. Let's not, let's not be too hasty here. Oh, come on. What? I don't approve of that last hit. I don't approve. I don't approve. Q said Wind Waker Grandma music. Okay, let's try to get our health back. How about that? Oh, look, they're being generous. They don't want me to die in the tutorial. Why so many of y'all? I will say this is probably, I don't know. What do you guys think? This isn't typically a game that I play. Oh, here you are. Wait, before we head deeper into the forest, there's something you should know. What is it? The echoes of those who once lived are not the only inhabitants of the spirit realm. And I'm not talking about my kind either. There are actually exists many different ethereal entities, some of them friendly, even helpful in some ways, albeit rare. But then there are the malevolent kind. We call them roamers. They are a vile race, constantly moving from one place to another, seeking to absorb energy from anything that comes across in an attempt to grow in power. And as a bound, bound, you will be their target now too, I'm afraid. 
the roamers use the energy they absorb to multiply themselves. And that's why their numbers are constantly rising, like a disease spreading from spreading through the spirit realm, soon affecting everyone. One of our most important tasks has always been to keep them at bay. I had no idea. Well, duh. What do you know about the spirit realm, honey? So these roamers are the monsters that grandma was talking about? And they are now all over the forest? Any way to defend this against them? Come on, kid. Upgrade me. Hold out your hands. When they come after us, your wooden toy will become useless against them. Come on, upgrade me. <laughs> come on, another sword? Trust me, this is the best weapon for the job. And it's not just any sword, it's actually really quite special. It is what we, all, what we call a conduit. Conduits are special artifacts that function as links between the realms. I'm getting some Yu Yu Hakusho vibes. I don't know if you guys were about that show, but I was about that show. I'm getting some Yu Yu Hakusho spirit realm artifact vibes right now. Connecting every level of existence to another. And that makes it possible for me to direct my energy through it, to enhance every strike you make with it. Any roamer unfortunate enough to get caught in the blade's way will most definitely feel it. Conduits are hard to come by, so take good care of it. And roamers are always looking to get their hands on one. I've seen you swing a sword many times before, wooden or not. You are more than capable of handling yourself with it. Well, yeah, but swatting a couple of angry wasps is a different thing. You need to trust yourself more. Give it a try. Okay, here it goes. You have received a spirit sword. Now you have the means to defend yourself against the roamers. Nice. I know you want to help your grandmother, no matter what it takes. Remember, Arietta, we're in this together. The only way for us to stand up to them is to combine our strengths. So you make that sword swing and I'll make ev sure every hit it lands counts. Right. And please, call me Aerie. Ari? Ari? I'm gonna go Ari. Let's see, we have a sad story competition. Nalise says he has a sadder story than poor grandma's sad story. I'm on a laptop. Oh, but Pallia challenges him. Not as sad as my computer that can't run Celeste. That is, that is pretty sad. I think, I think Pallia won that one. Oh no, the horror. Truly a sad story. I am a dancer, that is to say, a conduit. Not really. <laughs> Was she doing some kind of waiting pose? No. Okay, I'm tripping. All right, let's go fight some ghosties. You, you, Haku, show me. Let's do it. Where are they at? Where's the bad guys? Ooh. What? Ooh. Blasted that thing back into the nether world. Okay. Well, it's an easy, it's a chill game to play, too. I guess, you know, there's nothing wrong with chill games. I feel like, you know, I usually like very, very active games. Waha! I noticed. Even like Detroit Become Human, you don't necessarily think of it as an active game, but the story is going so quick. Plus, you know, I'm constantly panicking because of the story. Ooh! Nope. Okay, so far so good. Oh. I feel like the wasp should be taken down in one hit since now I got a fancy spirit sword that I'm swinging. You know what I mean? Before I was swinging a regular sword and they were still dying. What? Oh. Okay, again, is there no map? Also, it low key feels like I'm about, like I'm. Like they're giving me the whole game. Also, what's that blue thing? Am I seeing something? Am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. No, nothing, okay. But yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any benefit to actually fighting the creatures. Seems more like a necessary evil, ow. Necessary evil to get past something. Oh my God, I'm stuck. Oh, game's freezing. Okay, we're back at it. 
You know what I mean? I'm not seeing any EXP other than like heart drops. I'm not seeing an actual reason to fight if I don't have to. Also, thanks for hanging out, you guys. Appreciate you guys for hanging out. Shout out again to Jerp and Dr. Dude for the double raid session today. And Salmon, number one gifter on the cheer board. Hi, friend. Lots of roamers out tonight, don't you think? Not safe, not safe at all. You better get inside while you still can. Something ominous is in the air. Wait, you're a bound, aren't you? Aren't you? I, uh, I guess. Great. Tell you what, come and find me tomorrow. Oh, why do I keep pressing buttons and not finishing the whole thing? The name's Midri, by the way. Oh, but now I got to scoot. Okay, check you tomorrow. Certainly not safe here tonight. What? What was that all about? That was a mid 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 -darian. <laughs> a mid -darian, one of the ethereal races that inhabit the spirit realm. They are friendly entities who work as sort of merchants in the realm. They are completely harmless and actually very helpful. They deal with anything, but just like me, lack the physical bodies needed to acquire anything by themselves. So they use bounds as mediums to bring them whatever they might want at the moment. And it's usually well worth it. We should definitely track him down once we get the chance. Aw, oh, damn, that was a dude? I gave him the wrong voice. And just when I thought this night couldn't get any weirder. So what do you guys think of the game? It looks like it's well made. Looks like it has a pretty linear story. Combat's fine. Wow. I keep thinking she'll like strike quicker. But she doesn't do combos. Oh God, come on guys. You guys are taking up the whole road. Ooh, back up. Have not formed an opinion. I think so far my favorite demo this whole summer festival is still I thought I could get him. It's still a uh, spirit fair. That game was just so wholesome. I just wasn't prepared and it was so pretty. It was chill too. So it's not just like I only like active games though I do most only like super active games, but it was so cool. Rocking the GBA style for sure. Definitely got the Game Boy Advance thing happening. Hold on for just a second, look. See it? There's something shiny on the ground. That's grandma's ring. Just like she said. And no roamers in sight. Let's grab it while we can. It seems odd. Why would they just leave? Maybe grandma got it wrong and they weren't after the ring. Huh? Why is there a muck in the forest? Ew, look at muck. What is it doing? What is that? What is that? It's one huge roamer, I can tell you. Look at Arco's face right now. Huh? He's freaking out. Oh no. It's absorbing energy through the ring. This is bad. Do you have a gun, Arco? Can you give me like a little predator shoulder gun? That would be cool. Archer, you know? I, I don't, I don't want to be too picky. I'm just saying I need a long range weapon. That's what I'm trying to get at. No time to explain, Ari. What we do is your choice. If we leave now, it only gets stronger and starts to multiply. But I'm afraid it might be way out of our league already. This is definitely not the way I planned this night to pay out. You make the call. Given the circumstances, retreat is as good a plan as any. Well, it's not like we get stronger in this game. Yeah, but risk losing the ring? No way. Trust yourself more, right? Okay. We are taking it down. All right, guys, my turn. 
Hello. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. I can't always hit it. Oops. Got him. Why can't I always hit him? That's rude. Ooh. Don't multiply. That's gross. All right, Cammy. That's fine. Bruh. Let me hit him. Yep, I'm dead. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that was bad. Okay. Let's, let's, oh, fuck. Okay. We just restart immediately, don't we? So like, I only get to smack him once? How whack is that? He gets to bounce around two times, three times, four times. And I only get one swipe. Can I grab the ring? Ooh, look at that one shot blast though. That was pretty nice. Are there critical hits in this game? Seriously, the only one shot? That's so whack. Uh, I guess. They're just trying to make the fight longer, I suppose. Oh, come on. I swiped. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Get it, get it together. Bruh. Please stop. There we go. Got one. No! Son of a bitch. I don't like this boss fight at all. If this is our demo boss fight, that's not a good sign. He gets to bounce 10 fucking times and I get one strike. That's not, not amusing. You know what I mean? What? How does he? Okay, okay, fine. No, no. I just need to be patient. Wow. This. Woo! Yeah, that was too close. I don't know, guys. Gotta leave a bad review on just this boss fight anyway. We have this amazing dodge roll we don't even get to use. Hardly. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like he shoots at all. Damn it, I'm trying to kill the other one, but he's kind of in the way. Oh, I didn't realize his HP was down there. Oh wait, can I not kill him until I kill these guys? Oh yeah, I don't think I can kill him until I kill his minions. Interesting. No! Damn it. This type of can't attack a boss must wait before attacking stuff typically tends to just have three hit required on the boss because otherwise it gets pretty tedious. I totally agree. Got it. Good job. Hey, you handled yourself great. No, I died twice. Let's let's not let's not give let's not let's be real. I knew you had it in you. These roamers were probably drawn here because of your grandmother. She was in more danger than you can 
ever imagined coming all the way up here alone. But in the end, it seems they found the ring more interesting rather than her. Strange, there were so many of them in the forest, though. I wonder where they crept out of from. Crept out of from. Hmm. Hey, can we talk about it later? Let's get back to the cabin. I'm sure Grandma's eagerly waiting for us to return. Yeah, let's go. Great. I don't know, guys. That that boss fight did not inspire me. I know this is a demo, but that's what they demoed. I don't know. We managed to get it back. Really? Bless you. Now, come morning, give it to your mother. And don't tell her anything about this. She worries too much already. What? What will I say? You're a clever girl. You'll think of something. Is my voice a little Mickey Mousey to you? Because it sounds Mickey Mousey to me. Well, it's my time to go. Please don't. Ari, you know I have to. Grandma. I'm going to miss this place. And all of you. the cool breeze on my cheek and what comes to your new ability Arco told me about it before do whatever you see best listen to your heart near 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 I love you I'll be watching over you please I'm sorry, dear. I'm sorry I got you mixed into this. It's all my fault. But for what it's worth, I'm sure everything happens for a reason. Wow, that sounds like an excuse, Grandma. Grandma? It's like, oh no, I fucked up. Well, these things happen for a reason. Come on, Grandma. <laughs> Goodbye, Arietta. Bye. Sad story, sad face. Goodbye, Grandma. <laughs> I love you. Man. This demo gave us like a whole plot story. Like this felt like a mini like story and movie I just played. She she's gone. Is this a dream? Can I wake up now? I'm really sorry. This all must be too much for you. After I came into contact with your grandmother, I made the choice to bring you to her. She was against it as she knew what it would mean. But because of you, she was able to move on. <laughs> Rip Gammy. Yeah, bye grandma. No, it's... I'm okay. I, I'm really glad I got to see her one last time. Thank you. If it weren't for you, I would have never been able to help her. What happens now? You should go back to sleep. You might want to take some time to process all of this. Yet, there is one more thing. Like, I told you before, we only share our powers with humans who we deem worthy. But you will also get to choose. The power that I have granted you can be unbound if you wish so. It is a great burden to be carried, after all. The relationship between a bound and their spirit guide is always a two-way street. Your newfound ability is... Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, weird crack. Your newfound ability is only active when we are together. Should you ask me to, I'll release myself from you and everything will be just like before. But the truth is, we need as many in this as we can. The number of roamers is rising faster than ever. That puts everyone in danger. And the way you handled yourself tonight is nothing short of astonishing. Take your time to think it through. I...
Sleep on it, honey. Sleep on it. I should go back to sleep. Yeah, how about you do that? Go to sleep. Go to sleep, kid. You're only 13. You don't really need the fate of the spirit realms in your hands. But, you know, just like any good anime, you got to be a teenager. I know you don't feel it, but it's freezing cold out here. Let's get inside. Okay, so it wasn't exactly a demo, more like an origin story. To be continued, Arietta of Spirits. Not bad. Thanks for hanging out, you guys. I hope you thought it was interesting. Sad story. At least, you know, it had good storytelling. Alrighty, 